Hey, how's it going guys? Call to Mush here, back at it with the top 5 best graphics cards for the month of April 2015. Let's just get right into this with the first graphics card, I went with the EVGA GeForce GTX 750 Ti 2GB video card. Now this is fairly cheap at $130, but it packs a lot of performance for the money. It can actually do decent 1080p gaming. No, you're not going to be maxing out all the high-end games like Witcher 3 and Dying Light at 1080p and getting 60 frames per second, but it can max out a lot of games and get 30, 35, 40, 45 frames per second. Around that range, you won't be getting 60 FPS locked on every game, but it can definitely do 1080p gaming. And if you turn off things like anti-aliasing, lower the settings a tad bit to high, you're going to be getting really rock-solid frame rates out of this GPU, and it can do really good gaming at a very cheap price. It also has 2GB of video buffer, which is essential these days. I mean, a lot of games really require that extra gigabyte. You know, a lot of video cards used to have only a gigabyte. Most these days have 2GB, and it's definitely something that you want out of it even a cheaper uh, video card. Number four on this list is the HIS Radeon R9 270 2GB Ice Cube video card. Now, if you actually use the rebate for this video card, it knocks it down to $130, which is the same price of the GeForce GTX 750 Ti that I mentioned earlier. So if you do use rebates, definitely go with the R9 270 over the 750 Ti because this is a great GPU. Even at 1080p gaming, you're going to be maxing out a lot of games and getting 50, 55, even 60 frames per second. And for $150 at its base price and $130 after the rebate, it's a really solid deal. This this one also, uh, this one particularly also has a really nice cooler, so if you want to do some light overclocking, you can do that and get even more performance out of this GPU. Does great in games like Witcher 2, Battlefield, Battlefield Hardline, and upcoming games like Witcher 3, Mortal Kombat, Batman, you'll be able to run all those games. Maybe not quite maxed out, but damn near close at 1080p, and you're going to be getting really good frame rates, and like I said, you can overclock this GPU, pretty nice cooler on it, so you can get even more performance out of this graphics card. Number three on this list, I went with the Sapphire Radeon R9 280X 3GB video card. This is $220, but it also has a rebate, and you can get it for $190, and there's a promo code to take another $10 off of it, so you can get this GPU pretty cheap now. Uh, this competes with the GTX 960, but this has 3GB of video buffer, and in a lot of games, the R9 280X actually performs better than the 960. It's a tad bit cheaper as well right now. Uh, they usually are around the same price, but I prefer this GPU a lot more. The GTX 960 only has 2 gigabytes of video buffer. It does come in a 4 gigabyte model as well, but that's a lot more expensive. And this R9 280X for around $200 and having 3 gigabytes of video buffer is definitely a win. And at 1080p, this can pretty much max out any game at 60 frames per second. You're going to be golden with this GPU. And it can even play games at 1440p, like I said, with 3 gigabytes of video buffer. That definitely helps out if you're playing at a resolution high than 1080p so that's definitely great and all in all this gpu is definitely a winner at this kind of a price range really cheap price but definitely packs a lot of performance number two i went with the sapphire radeon r9 294 gigabyte tri x oc video card this is 265 dollars after a mail-in rebate 285 without just a great gpu this can game at 1080p or 1440p hell you can even crank some games up to 4k just an awesome gpu for the money and it's got four gigabytes of video buffer you know a complete four gigabytes not like like another graphics card which we'll get to in a second but you know this is a great GPU for the money at a sub $300 price range you really can't beat the R9 290 just a great GPU and this one also has a nice cooler it comes factory overclocked but if you want to do some overclocking yourself you can also do that as well um, just a great GPU for 1080p or 1440p gaming you're gonna be maxing out pretty much any game 60 frames per second no problem at 1080p or 1440p or like I said you can even crank it up to 4k in some cases Finally, number one, I went with the MSI GeForce GTX 970 4GB Twin Frozer video card. Uh, we really shouldn't be saying 4GB, we should be saying 3.5GB, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been seeing that in my comments so often now that I think most of you guys already know about that, but we won't go too much further into that. This is still an awesome GPU right now for around $320, just a fantastic GPU. If you're gaming at 1080p, 1440p, there's really nothing better than the GTX 970, maxing out any game at 1080p, 60 frames per second no problem and you're going to be maxing games at 1440p as well and getting 60 frames per second or even higher in some cases of course and this gpu is just a complete winner even with that 3.5 gigabyte you know debacle it's still a damn good video card and the one that i'm mentioning here is the msi twin frozer video card so you can even do overclocking the twin frozer cooler is definitely a great one so if you want to do some overclocking for even more performance on this 
that is possible as well. And what I really like about the 970 is that it only uses 145 watts max TDP. So it's really efficient as far as power consumption goes. And it has a lot of performance as well, which the R9 290, yes, it has a lot of, uh, it has a lot of performance, uh, in it, but it also uses a lot of power. Just a little thing I like about the GTX 970. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like this video, comment down below. If you have a request for a future video, leave it in the comment section down below. Read every single comment as always always and I try to reply to everybody sometimes you know I kind of don't reply to everybody but I definitely read them all so thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all later peace